Guys, welcome to another episode. We're out at the mountain farm, and man, is it a windy one out here today. Tika and I have a good one for you. We're heading out uh, fishing for trout. We're gonna head out to the desert camp. We're gonna get some supplies to build a new shelter at the desert camp. Ah, but first we gotta do some farm chores. Stinky, come on, we got it, some work to do. We got some work to do. My goodness, my goodness, look how hairy she is. She needs a haircut so badly. <laughs> All right, let's go. Man, it's crazy windy out here. Come on, come on. All right, we already got everything packed up. We just gotta, uh, oh, man, I fell into a hole. I almost fell into the septic system. <laughs> All right, we got some poles here. We got the fly pole. We got the bullet lure. We got the bobber. We're geared up for anything, boys and girls. We're geared up for it all. All right. Tika. Ah, uh, little Tika. She likes to stink around and sniff everything. Now, a couple of things. Oh, my goodness. Walnuts. Look at those. All right, we'll check out the walnuts in a second. A couple of things I picked up at the uh, supply store yesterday were uh, some nice high quality stainless shovels. We're gonna need these around the farm a lot. Where did Tika go? Tika, Tika, we gotta go fishing. Where are you going? Oh no, she's down by the horses. Stinker, what are you doing? Ah, Tika, come here, come here, come here, my goodness. Oh, we gotta go fishing, Tika. The horses and the cows are just like, who's that crazy man talking to that little black camera? Man, you guys, it's crazy too. The snow has pretty much completely melted out here. The weather's gotten really nice besides today's stormy day. Maybe we'll head up to the, oh, should we check out the lake, the frozen lake and see if there's still ice? I was just gonna fish the desert creeks, but maybe we should head up there and just see if there's still ice on the lake. We could get in one last ice fishing session for the season. All right, there we go. Let's crack open a walnut. So I found these walnuts. Uh, down in this park and I'm curious if there's like an actual nut inside oh, that one's absolutely worthless nothing in that one all right let's crack another walnut this is kind of the thing that they come in before they're cracked so I'm hoping that we actually have a nut inside one of these oh geez the wind's just blowing them everywhere <laughs> it's like the littlest baby nut I mean there's barely anything in there Tastes a little funny too. Maybe I shouldn't be eating these. I don't know. Is there, are there like bad types of walnuts? Nothing. Come on, Stinker. Let's go. Let's go, Tika. Let's go. I'll show you guys the uh, pen where we're going to have the chickens and the, the goats. I don't have goats yet, but it'll happen soon. <laughs> That's going to be one of the first uh, animals that we get here at the farm besides the chickens. Let's go, Stinky. <laughs> Down here we have a couple of uh, large uh, animal pens. The whole property, like I've said before, is fenced in. Uh, it's also sectioned off, so I've got different sections of pasture so I could move uh, horses or cows or goats around so that they never deplete one pasture completely. My goodness. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, this guy here is going to be the uh, chicken uh, coop. Right now it's not converted yet, but I'm gonna use one of these uh, stalls here, in particular the one on the left. Uh, what I gotta do for that is just clean this baby out, build a wall with the door right here so that nothing can come in and eat the chickens because out here everything wants to eat the chickens. We've got the mountain lions, the bears, the coyotes, we got wolves, and we got eagles too. So like this whole uh, chicken run out here, I'm gonna have to like still fence this baby in properly and then uh, put a like netting up as a roof because there's usually about five to ten eagles in this area just kind of circling around above us and i know that they would love to eat the chickens and we're not going to let that happen oh man but it is messy in here and we got to watch out it's starting to get to the season where rattlesnakes could be out here so every time you flip over boards uh, or stones or stuff like that just make sure that you check first and make sure there's no snakes underneath there Ah, nothing like the smell of cow poop in the morning. Ah, 
Hey, TK, you want to help with this? <laughs> she's, just, she's just laying there in the sun. <laughs> uh, why do cows poop so much? Uh. Now I know you came here for fishing, but I also know that you've been looking forward to shoveling cow poop all day. So that's why we're doing that together for a minute. Got to do the chores before the fun stuff, right? And now I don't have cows, don't have cows yet, yet. But uh, this mess here is still from the seller uh, that owned the farm before me. He had a bunch of cows and he left the poo behind. But that's good, that's good. I'm super happy about it. It'll make really good, uh, nice compost. Uh. All right, now that is a good pile of poo right there. Nice. Uh, and look at this big old poo that ran away. Get back there. <laughs> go, 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 Tika. All right, we're all ready to go, but I just got to show you guys something that I found yesterday at the farm. All right, check it out, right next to the shop. Uh, I found something that I didn't think existed here. The snow melted away and all of a sudden I found this. That right there is, uh, I believe that's, what is that, a prickly pear cactus? Look, it's got the little fruits on there and everything. Kind of want to get in there and, ow, 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 oh, wow, the fruits have little spines on them too. Watch out, Tika, watch, watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh, anyways, this cactus here uh, is really cool. I thought that these were only in like total deserts, but apparently we have these up here in the Northwest as well, and they're growing wild on the farm. So I got to explore and see how many more of the prickly pear cactuses are growing. Uh, because I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you can eat the fruit. Let me know in the comments if you can eat the fruit of the prickly pear, as long as you don't prickle yourself. <laughs> I almost forgot, uh, before we hit the road, we got to make a cup of coffee real quick, because I haven't had any coffee yet today. Probably wash our hands real quick after shoveling cow poop. <laughs> yeah. is so ready to roll right now. This way, this way, stinky. Come on, in the truck, let's go. Let's go. I grabbed the uh, ice pole and auger real quick too, just because we'll stop by uh, the frozen lake real fast and see if there's still some ice on it. Guys, I'm excited, I'm excited. Man, it's been a while since we've been trout fishing together. If we catch a good one, let's cook them up together too. All right, everyone say hi to the cows. Hi cows and horses and pony thing. All right, let's see what this lake looks like. Oh man. <laughs> okay, I don't think that this is uh, ice fishable anymore. Let's check it out. Oh, it's so melty. No, I was so hoping to do one last ice fishing session. Dang it. All right, let's go. Let's go check it out. Come on, oh no, 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 stinky. Oh no, 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 no. You're going on a leash out here. It's one thing with Tika, she's so small that uh, out here, even at the farm, I try and keep her on a leash so that she doesn't wander off and get eaten by an eagle. Oh, wow, still so hot. So good though. All right, come on, stinky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, there's no way we're getting out there. No way whatsoever. Look at that. What do you think? Should we try and maybe bobber fish here? I've got some worms. We've got a bobber rod. We can still fish here. Right along the edge of the ice, it should be deep enough to where there might be a trout or something hanging out there. It is freezing here. 
absolutely freezing. Wind chill is just insane. I think it's like 20 mile an hour winds today. So we're gonna wrap up a little bit in the old pumpkin coat. All right, Ooh, a little, oh, oh, so hot. So we got the fly pole with us. We got the bullet lure. We've got a bobber set up. We're really geared up for everything. And I'm really kind of excited to fish this lake just from the shoreline. No more ice. That's crazy, guys. Spring and summer is coming. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. All right. I think we'll start off with uh, a couple casts with the bullet lure. Here we go. Look at this little guy. Ooh, he's got some patina on him. Looking good. Ooh, drag is way too tight. There we go. Okay, first cast with the bullet lure all the way out. Right here, there's a creek that comes out, and that's why you can see this area being thawed out uh, like that, which is a good reminder that, whoa! Oh, we might have had a bite. Might have had a bite right there on the first cast. I'm not sure what just happened. But uh, what I was going to say is when there is ice out here, you can see how this area, wherever there's a little creek coming in, the ice could be thinner there. So always watch out. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Everyone calm down. False alarm. False alarm. Just a little bit of weeds. Felt good, though. Got me awake. Woke me up more than that coffee did. All right. All right. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Good. Uh, good first cast. Got to say. All right. Maybe it's a little shallow, so we got to do a slightly quicker retrieve, prevent him from sinking down to the bottom. Ooh, man, that bullet lure looks happy in there. He is so happy to be in that water. What about right up against the ice there? There, we can cast onto the ice and then do a natural present. Oh, presentation like something fell in the water. I thought I felt something. Oh, another weed, another weed. That was a very, very good weed. Wow, fooled me, completely fooled me. Oh, we're loaded up with weeds. <laughs> oh, man, look at this. All right, you know what? Let's try the bobber. <laughs> I think if we're fishing between weeds, uh, then that's going to be really tough to do with the, the bull lure. So felt good, though. Okay, let's dig into the old worm jar. Ooh, this guy here, he looks like he wants to be on YouTube. We're just going to slide that worm all the way up that hook. There we go. Got that worm on the hook just like that. I'm not sure how deep exactly it is here. How about we cast it right there against the ice? Come on, baby. First cast with the bobber. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. I actually feel really good about that bobber out there. Man, it's a muddy mess along the shoreline here, though. Oh, I think the bobber stopped. That means either a fish grabbed it or we're stuck in the weeds. <laughs> Since it's not going down, I'm going to guess we're stuck in the weeds. All right, let's go to pull that baby out, clean it up. Let's do another cast. We're going to try and get the bobber way out there into the slightly deeper water. And then maybe that wind can just kind of carry us out. Come on. That worm is sinking down there. Are there some fish thinking about it? I know I'm thinking about it. Oh yeah, we're definitely stuck in the weeds. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, you know what? I think this area here is just a little shallow. What we could do, we're just gonna see if there's anything like right in here. Sometimes a hungry trout will like to hang out right there in the little creeks flowing into the lake. Yeah, no one home? Oh, the water's really clear. I don't actually see anything in here. Dang. All right. Okay. You know what? Let's just stand way out here. We got boots on. From here, we should be able to get the best cast that we can get. Oh, geez, I didn't open. What? No. What is this? 
Uh, I love you, Braid, but sometimes. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this mess. At this point, it probably would have been faster to just retie the whole thing. But it's become a matter of pride. There we go. Come on. Come on. Okay, that was good. I think that was good. All right, you know what? We're going to try this. Sometimes. Oh, oh, it just broke. All right, well, dang it. Sometimes you can just pull it right through. All right, just going to tie that line back together here. No biggie. No biggie. Should have just done that from the get-go. Would have saved a lot of time. All right, any tag ends like this that we got, we're just going to throw them in our pocket. Don't want to leave any of that stuff out here. Okay, there we go. Nice and strong. Repaired our line. Okay. Find another nice and juicy one. Oh, man, they're all kind of small. There we go. There's a nice one. <laughs> don't, don't, don't eat the worm. Don't eat the worm. <laughs> okay, let's give that another try. Wow, just nothing biting, man. I, I was totally expecting something to take a bite out there up against the ice where it's a little deeper. It's probably hard to tell, guys. It's probably three or four feet deep. Maybe it's just a little shallow. Maybe everything's hiding, hiding under the ice. There you go. Fish can have that worm. Tika, I don't think they're biting here. I don't think they're biting. Oh, you're all warm. You're all warm, yeah. Man, right here, it looks so deep. Okay, nothing has worked so far. So, there's only one thing we haven't tried yet. We're gonna try the fly. It is kind of early in the spring, so I'm curious if maybe the bass are like spawning right now or something. I'm just using a sinking fly so that baby's hitting the surface and doing a slow sink, and then we're just gonna strip it and give it little, little twitches. All right, no, it didn't work, didn't work. Fly fishing was a no-go as well. My, the GoPro died, uh, I gave it a few more casts, and there is just zero action at all. The good news, I have very good news. The coffee. Oh, it's at perfect temperature. Let's get out of here, let's get out of here. We gotta get some supplies, uh, bring them over to the desert camp, and uh, then uh, if there's time, whew, man, hopefully, hopefully, we can make it down to the small desert creeks where, uh, oh man, there could still be some giant trout there. That season is slowly, slowly ending. So, uh, but if we can catch anything there, that'd be awesome. I just want to get a, just a bobber down. <laughs> One bobber down is all I need. <laughs> Stinky, hi, come here, come here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Tika thinks she's driving. There we are. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. <laughs> oh, she gets this thing where she, her eyes get really dry, so she needs little eye drops. All right, Stinker, I'm going in there by myself, though, because we're going to be lifting some heavy stuff. That's not a place for little tiny girls like you.
Ooh. I've got a bit of a curve to them. And 30. Nice. How's it going? <laughs> awesome. Should be eight of those guys and 30 of the two by fours. All right, awesome. I appreciate it. Have a great day. No, you're good. <laughs> Sneak right by. <laughs> All right, this should keep us uh, busy out at the desert compound for a while. Dang, I forgot we got to load it all now. Probably would have been smart to take these into the store. Well, we live and learn. Whew, all right, let's do this. Those little gremlins, she's so excited. She's so excited that we're here. Oh my goodness, stinky. Oh, it's wild here, it's wild. Man, just look at that sunset though, it's so beautiful. All right, come on, let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's like, what is that noise? Is the drone still flying? <laughs> It's like, I thought there was some weird humming, like a bunch of bees or something. It, oh, forgot about my own drone. Look at that sky though. Oh man. Uh, tent obviously is still down. We're gonna sleep in the truck tonight. All the snow is melted though. So it's kind of a, ah man, look at, ah dang it. Look at that, it ripped here. So this bar here is broken. I think I'll be able to fix the tent off to sew up uh, that hole that ripped into it. I guess that'll be finally time to learn how to sew. All the lumber made it out here all right. Yes, you guys have guessed right. We're building a small cabin out here at the desert compound. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. I've got a great idea for it. It's not just gonna be a regular old cabin. Oh, there's coyotes howling too. Tika, get over here, come on. God, oh, gee, we, okay, we gotta land the drone. We gotta land the drone. Tika, get over here, come on. Coyotes, they're like uh, small wild wolves uh, that we have in the area, and um, they'd make a quick meal out of Tika, so we're gonna have to keep her on a leash, keep her in camp here. Mm. Oh, jeez, it hit the strap. Nice thing is everything's pretty dry right now, so making the fire shouldn't be too hard today. Oh no, no! Oh, it almost flew off. Oh, there we go. Got one to stick. Look at that.
Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Ah, yeah. All right. Oh man, that instantly feels amazing. Little Tika, she's uh, got a blanket. Oh my goodness, is it cold stinky? I know, I know it's a little chilly here, huh? I didn't bother putting any seasonings on there. We've just got olive oil and natural chicken. We're just gonna throw on the asparagus and we're just gonna give it a wonderful, like a natural smoky char flavor on the fire here and enjoy it that way. Asparagus, perfectly cooked. I'm just gonna throw these tortillas on here real quick. Give them just a little bit of a roast as well. Ooh, man, they're perfect. All right, time to get that fire going again. Now we're done cooking. All right, Tika's already in the truck eating dinner there. And look at this though. This looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> Man, look at that meal right there. Oh, I cannot wait. I got just a little bit of water. Ah. All right, let's see how that chicken looks. I hope it's cooked all the way. Ooh. Man, it's perfect. Oh. Oh man, it's like smoky and sweet. Mm. Oh, man, the asparagus is super, super sweet. It's got a nice crunch to it, too. All right, here we go. Asparagus wrap. <laughs> asparagus chicken. Oh man, Whew. it's really, really clear, stars are out. Heard the coyotes howling uh, just a little bit ago. I think the wind is dying down a little bit, but it's still really windy, uh, which that's one thing that I am a little bit worried about for fishing tomorrow is since it has been so windy and it's gotten really dry out. And when it's windy and dry, that means a lot of dust blows into the creeks and they get all murky and it gets a lot harder to fish for trout. Plus, they're full of tumbleweeds and there's just like a tumbleweed party flowing down. So, I don't know, we'll find out. Not worried about it right now. We're just gonna relax and enjoy tonight. And then, uh, whew, man, tomorrow we'll see. We'll see if we can catch a trout. I'm looking forward to it. Even though Tika's in there already having her dinner, I know she's gonna want some chicken, so I'm gonna set, uh, Set a nice piece aside for her, because I know she'll want that later. <laughs> Coming out into nature, just having a fire, maybe using a little oil lamp or something like that. Just living simple, just getting away from everything. I feel like we're just around electronics all the time. And sometimes you just gotta get away from it all and just kinda become one with nature again. That right there, that's the bright moon right there over us. It's a beautiful, crystal clear night. The sky's full of stars. Oh man, I don't know if you guys hear it, but there's coyotes howling all over around us. There is one pack, one pack howling over there. And now we got another one behind us, so we're surrounded by wild coyotes howling. I'm just gonna let that water warm by the fire there. Ooh, man, that feels good. That's <laughs> so cool listening to them. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, Stinky. Hi. Do you want a little bit of chicken? Oh. <laughs> Watch out, sleeping bag. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> All right, Tika and I, we're gonna get a little bit of sleep and we'll see you guys in the morning. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, good morning, guys. We slept really good in here. Tika is, <laughs> ooh, man. Look at the stinger come out of there. Was it nice and warm in there? The sun uh, just, just started coming up. A little foggy in here still. It's probably, just a little below freezing outside or something, but yeah, it was pretty nice in here. What do you think, Tika, huh? What do you think, Stinky? Yeah. One more minute. You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? <laughs> oh. All right, Tika, come on. Come on. Woo. <laughs> Look at that beautiful sunrise. Oh, a bunch of birds chirping around. the wood out my hands are freezing ah oh man now I realize I don't have any coffee for this morning but that's okay we're gonna try something new we're gonna make uh, sagebrush tea directly uh, with the sagebrush from camp here I've heard now numerous times that sagebrush can be used for all kinds of medicinal purposes we used it as kind of a menthol uh, nose insert to help with a cold uh, in the last episode and it worked it really worked so we're just gonna pick a little bit don't need a whole lot there we go and that's probably all that we're gonna use for this one here oh man i wish i had some honey with that too oh, honey sagebrush tea ah oh, next time Now look at this jumbo avocado. There's another one that I have that's even bigger than this one and it was two for $3. That was a deal. Moment of truth. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's perfect. It's a perfect avocado. We'll save this half for the fish later. Oh, oh I can smell the sagebrush. All right, the leaves are softening just a little bit. Hey buddy, how are you doing? Okay, we're gonna enjoy this tea. <laughs> yeah, honey, <coughs> honey would be nice. <laughs> oh man, this is harsh. All right, let me know in the comments. Have you guys ever had sagebrush tea? Look at this, it's very, very, uh, I don't know, what's the right word? Potent? Oh, 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 oh. All right, we gotta, we gotta work on this recipe. I'll bring out some honey next time. Ooh, we should have bees out here. The bees could collect honey from the sagebrush flowers and, but what if the honey then also tastes like sagebrush and then we get like double infused sagebrush tea? All right, the sausage is done. Throw those little guys in here. I can't resist a little bite of the sausage. Jalapeno pineapple.
man, with the sun out now, it's nice and comfy. I kind of want to just relax, but we got to go catch a trout. <laughs> you ready? No, yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. What we'll do is we'll come back out here again for a couple of days uh, where we'll just focus on like working on camp. This was just a supply run. Uh, we got to go fishing and then I got to keep moving things out to the mountain farm. Actually, I got to edit this video first, get it out to you guys, and then I'll move things out to the mountain farm. So uh, yeah, let me know if uh, you guys want to see more stuff out at the farm right now or out here at the desert camp. Drop off. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, man. It is definitely a little soupy in the creek. Yep, before we even start with the bobber, let's just go ahead and throw the bullet lure a couple of times and see what happens. All right. Man, yeah, the visibility is horrible in the water right now. It's gonna be really hard to get any bites with the water looking like that. Nothing on the bull lure yet. Let's go ahead and send a worm down there. Maybe, maybe we can get the fish off of their scent or their sense of smell versus their sight. Right there in the middle. Come on. Come on, gotta be a little trout hanging out here. <laughs> oh man. All right, we're gonna move just a little bit. I don't think uh, that the water is, it, it's just a little too wild here. A lot of debris floating around in the water. And I don't think the trout's really like that. They might be hanging in a calmer area. There's some kind of a weird big like irrigation pump or something running over there. Super loud. <laughs> Okay, we have caught a monster here before, so. They're cast right behind that tumbleweed. Oh, went down, but that was, that was just the bottom. Where are all the trout hanging out? All right, we're in the deep pool. Ooh, man, almost got caught up in a big tumbleweed. We gotta like dodge the weeds here. What is this? Ugh. Danger area under fumigation, vapam. Soil fumigant. I do not know what that is, but we probably do not want to be here. I'm just going to get this sign away from the water. Ugh. All right, we'll leave that right there. Man, maybe, man, maybe we're like, oh, is it on my shoes now? Is that why there's no trout here? They all got fumigated? Let's get out of here, man. 
I don't know, what is vapam? What, what is fumigation? Ouch, oops. <laughs> Tika, we gotta get out of here. This area is fumigated, whatever that means. I'm just gonna like do a precautionary hand wash. Rinse off any of these deadly chemicals that are on us. What is this? Unbelievable. Why would something like that be allowed next to a creek? Come on, Steaker, let's go. Let's not get fumigated. Come on. Man, we have officially left the sunny side of the state. It is snowing here like crazy, and we are not even close to being on top of the mountain pass. I have no idea if we're gonna make it over there. Uh, sure is beautiful though. All right, this place here is our last shot to try and catch a trout. Good morning, sleepyhead. Oh, I know, Tika. I know. Oh. <laughs> Man, this place is beautiful. The water is crystal clear. A little bit of noise from the road is the only thing that we got here. All right, we got the bobber out. You guys watch that for me real quick while I grab the bullet lure. Bobber's drifted all the way over there, kind of under that tree. Could be a juicy area, so we're gonna let it happen. See if it gets anything over there. Man, just this place looks so fishy. It gets nice and deep right in front of us. Lots of little boulders down there. There's gotta be some trout hanging out. Gotta be, it just looks like a beautiful mountain lake. I'm seeing shadows. Man, it looked like a follow, but. Uh, I'm starting to see things, guys. Starting to see things. I'm not sure if that was real, though. Oh, I thought I saw something again. Man, I think I'm just seeing things, guys. It might be the, the weird chemicals that we got exposed to, potentially. <laughs> Getting to me. I don't know. I thought I just saw something snap at it, but then there was nothing there All right last cast All right Tiga you didn't get anything. All right, you guys, I gotta get home over the mountain pass and potentially wash toxic chemicals off of me. So that's all I got for you guys in this episode. We'll get out again next week and then we're gonna chase some monsters. There's a spot that I wanna check out that might have some big trout or big walleye. So look forward to that one. I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you all for the next one. Until then, you all know it. Fish on, baby. No. <laughs> How lucky was that? It fell down in the dirt and like little tiny bit of dirt here, little tiny bit there. No big deal. I I thought we had a goner, guys. <laughs>